All right. Yay. I'm so excited. Amanda, thank you so much for joining us. So everybody, we have Amanda Polk here, who is a gold medalist in rowing. And she was in the 2016 games in Rio. Um, she has three kiddos and two boys, uh, two girls and one boy, um, ages five, three and a half and one. So let's say she is pretty busy. Um, so I'll let her just say hi to everybody. Hi, thank you so much, Stephanie, for having me. I'm very excited to be sharing my Olympic story, Shackley's story, how I kind of transitioned and retired from athlete to mom. There's not much of a difference when you have three <laughs> around five and under. So it's been a crazy last six years for me, that's for sure. I bet. So you had kids after the Olympics, is that right? If Correct. Okay. Yes. I actually, uh, so in 2016, I won the gold. Um, if we're going technically in the summertime, I got married to my husband, Eric in November, and then found out I was pregnant in Feb February with my first. <laughs> that is so exciting. That is so busy though. Yes, it is. Oh my goodness. Um, okay. So one thing I'm just super curious about, um, as a certified nutrition coach is how do you feel your workouts? And I know things may be different now, but both when you're training for the Olympics and in your daily workout regimen now, how do you fuel them and how do you recover? Sure. And that's a great question. So um, part of my transition from retiring, uh, the Shackley products really helped me from constantly feeling like I needed something all the time to actually helping me limit and focus in on, okay, what works and you don't need a lot of it, but it still works to get you through what you need. So for instance, when I retired in 2016, um, I actually didn't retire right away. I continued training pretty rigorously, um, especially when I got married etc I didn't know uh, if I wanted to be finished completely so one of the things that I absolutely became to love and trust um, among a lot of other uh, aspects of Shackley was the uh, certification of the sports performance line the banned substance uh, control group it's uh, it's identified and known internationally, which is a very, very important part of an elite athlete at my level uh, because we were drug tested. And even after Rio, I was still on the drug testing pool. So for me, it was a no brainer in that certification using those sports nutrition uh, lines first and figuring out, okay, what works best for me during, what works best for me after. So what I really like to use during is the electrolyte drink hydrate my favorite is lemon lime flavor and and usually especially I'm here in South Carolina now the days get really really hot and if I'm outside working out on a run or you know biking or cross training or even erging outside which is one of my favorite things to do which is an indoor rowing machine just in case you don't know what an erg is some little rowing jargon there but um I absolutely love using that as a replenish a replenishing during my workout support drink. Um, and then within 30 minutes, right after my workout, I'm sure to get a uh, protein shake. I just mix it with milk. I'm a big milk person, but two scoops of the um, physique advanced, the build, uh, if you will. And then there's the bio build. I take one scoop of that. Uh, my go-to recently is for, uh, vanilla, the French vanilla for two scoops of that. And then the bio build of the banana. It is a delicious combination. I've given it to my children sometimes when they want a little sip and they're like, mom, what are you drinking? That looks delicious. And then of course they confiscate it from me. So I know it's really good tasting because I know they are picky eaters and they will not eat everything that I give them. Well, say you're pretty nice. I don't always like let them taste it because then as soon as they do, I'm like, and there goes my shake. <laughs> so you come on. I'm taking notes because I'm so intrigued on this. Um, so you take two scoops of the build and one scoop of the bio build and you combine them in one shake. Yes, that sounds correct. amazing. And it's a really great, not only great um, taste and flavor, but it's a really great physiological um, recovery drink because you're getting a really great source of protein. Um, and the whey protein is easily digestible, which is very helpful because I know sometimes after I work out right away, my stomach is like, I can't really eat anything right now. And then I just kind of trickle into a, a hole, if you will, of not recovering and feeling worse and worse until I finally get out of that. 
get out of the ditch that I created. Um, so uh, that's a really super helpful. And then the bio build has some carbohydrates and vitamins and minerals that are incorporated there too. So for me, that's my good balance of really good protein, easily digestible on the stomach, as well as replenishing some carbohydrates and getting ready kind of to keep up with those kiddos. <laughs> That sounds perfect. It's interesting you said that about whey because I know a lot of people tend to have problems with whey and people have been able to drink or build products and not have an upset tummy. So that's interesting you mentioned that. Mm -hmm. um, and what are you doing currently? So you said that you do the ERG and then are you, do you still focus mainly on rowing like your normal day to day or do you do other things? I do not. I actually don't row or erg as much as I thought I would be right now. Um, my husband, he is also very into fitness. He uh, has a PhD in human movement and sports science. So he and I like to be partners in workouts. And it's really fun because we've been doing kind of one minute intervals of multiple, uh, multiple different, uh, either cardio or we'll switch on, like I'll do the cardio first and he'll do kind of a dumbbell, um, push press, just as an example. So some free weight stuff, um, some bar weight stuff. So it really is kind of a plethora now and a very diverse, uh, way of 20 minutes though, 20 minutes to 30 minutes is like the key for my household. If we get that, then we're golden. Um, whereas in my training days, I was on that machine for not joking, like two hours. Oh, wow. Um, yes. And not all at the one time, but over the course of, you know, the practice, we would be on that machine. So my two hours then to 20 minutes now, but I still feel like I'm, I'm back to my weight that I was even after the three pregnancies that I was with um, when I was training. And I really feel like I still have that type of energy. Um, so it's a different purpose now trying to keep up with my kids, but it's also um, kind of transitioning from the sit down. Here's the purpose of winning an Olympic gold medal or competing at the top of your sport to now mom, how do we keep up with the kids? Make sure you can always beat them no matter what. <laughs> I like that and should be a sport in its own. I do too. I do too. <laughs> a mom's marathon, 20 minutes. Let's go. Yeah, seriously. Um, well, two things you just said kind of made me think. Uh, I noticed on your Facebook page that you said to help lose the baby weight, you did the cleanse. So what do you like about that? So actually I am doing the cleanse in about a week. I haven't been able to do it because I was either nursing or pregnant, but okay. I have used the, the shake, the life shake, as well as the vitamin strip, the vitalizer women to help lose the baby weight. Um, especially because I was the largest I ever was with this last pregnancy with my son, he was 10 pounds. So, um, yes, I felt that my body had hit its limit and capacity. So it felt really great shedding those pounds. Um, even though I really wasn't doing many workouts. And like I said, even then it was like 15 minutes, maybe go for a walk. So I really felt a difference when I had the life shakes for my lunch because I thought uh, it was easy and I was a little bit lazy at the time. I didn't want to make another meal for myself. And surprisingly enough, I was able to have energy um, until dinner. And sometimes, you know, it was a more active day. I would, you know, throw some carrots and hummus or something. I had a crunchy uh, kind of craving for a little while, but um, that's when I really uh, was surprised of how not only I was losing the weight, but I was getting my energy back and I was able to keep up until dinner time. So that was eye opening for me. That's perfect. And so important because I feel like when people try to lose weight, sometimes they lose that energy too. And then you're like, no bueno for anybody, especially when you've got kids to chase after and care Definitely. for. Them. And, um, and the thing is the key part of that is being consistent. Um, and you know, like even the, the day to day, it gets crazy, but if you can keep that one thing consistent, you really will feel, feel a difference. I love that. Um, the, another thing I saw on your Facebook page with your two daughters, super cute is you were posing with your vitalizer package and your kiddos had the meology kids which I just have to laugh at that because I love that we can personalize it and put their name and pick an icon but I have learned in my house anyways I don't know about yours they can still fight over vitamins that are the exact same 
but with different icons. And I'm like, you chose the icon. <laughs> no, no, I want the shark today. So oh, what, is there, what do you like most as a mom about the Meology kids? Or I love it because they love it. Um, they actually remind me, uh, mom, I need to take my vitamins. My three and a half year old is the most consistent in the household um, <laughs> in terms of taking her vitamins and she loves them. She feels like, you know, she's because she does see me take my vitalizer as well as my husband um, at nighttime. So I think that she feels like she's, you know, in the group now, very included, but she also loves the taste, which I think is very hard because a lot of gummies out there have a lot of sugar and the yeah. Meology Kids is pretty low in sugar. It's actually what I, from what I compared the lowest in sugar, but also the highest in a lot of the percentages of the different vitamins that they're getting. So that was a no brainer for me. And you're right, my, my, my older daughter, she kind of is the indecisive one. Um, oh, I want, I want the castle. And now I'm getting the same one for this next month so that there won't be any issues. <laughs> So everybody has the same icon. That's right. That's awesome. <laughs> That's one step ahead. I should try that. I didn't think about that. Why do I give them that option? <laughs> I never should have mentioned that feature. That's too funny. Um, and I was just thinking, like, we've been traveling a lot lately, so it's kind of my mind. If you could take any two Shackley products on vacation, but only two, what would it be? I would definitely take the snack bars, the crunchy peanut butter. Those are a lifesaver for the whole family, not just myself. Even my son thinks that they're amazing. He's one year old. Um, and I'm impressed with that, that he can actually finish a whole bar. Those things are nine to 10 grams of protein, depending on the flavor. Um, and I would say the other, oh, I would really have to think deep about this because there are so many different products. Um, I would say, let's see. Well, I probably would take my vitalizer with me. So keeping the vitamins, oh, or just thought of this one, the triple immune boost, the triple defense, excuse me, uh, boost. That would be very helpful, especially when traveling and you get exposed to so many different germs. Um, it helps us stay healthy in our house, especially my daughter started preschool and she's bringing all kinds of things in. Um, so my husband and I, and sometimes I'll even uh, mix like a portion of it with a little apple juice to give to them. Um, and they think it's amazing. They're like, oh, this is berry juice. I'm like, it's Shackley berry juice. It's very, very good for you. <laughs> so uh, on occasion, they'll ask for that as well. And so, yeah, I would say the triple defense uh, immune boost for sure, because you just, like I said, you just get exposed to so many things and it's kind of nice you know, on vacation when you don't want to buy like a lot of, a lot of bulky, um, a lot of bulky, you know, ready drinks. And you can just kind of bring that pouch wherever you want. If you don't want water anymore, you just mix it in. Um, even with just a, a normal water bottle, we've done that. You don't even need a blender bottle, which is really, really convenient and really helpful. That's true. And I find it's um, cheaper because when you're at the airport now it's trendy to have all these electrolytes and um, energy boosts and things, but I'm like, they are like four to $5 a drink. And like you had mentioned before about sugar, they are laden with sugar Yes, so much. And so I yeah. feel like I control the cost and I control the sugar when I take it with me. Yeah. Um, and the individual packets make it easy for like TSA and stuff. Cause you don't have the Ziploc where they're like, what shady stuff are you carrying? Exactly. <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. that's awesome these are such good tips I wrote these down I'll share them with my group but um, mm -hmm. some of my clients are doing like Ironmans and things like that so like you mentioned about the certified sport and the drug testing they're going through some of that stuff too and so that's been huge for Shackley products and so I want to kind of share with them your regimen because I think that's beautiful recovery Plan. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. And one thing, if they are doing triathlons and marathons, um, a very helpful, uh, another helpful um, Shackley product is the energy chews. Um, they give you a little bit of electrolytes and they also have the, the caffeine in them as well. So I know that my husband really likes them. He's not a coffee drinker and he doesn't drink any of the energy drinks either. Um, so uh, when he needs a little boost, those are his go-to. Okay. That's a great tip. I'll share that. I've seen those and I know they're vegan because some of my yes. 
um, clients require that. So that's a good suggestion. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, anybody else have any questions? Amanda? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, two parter. One, does it did it earn you cred with your PhD husband that you are the Olympian? <laughs> and two, what, so because of your, you, you were an Olympian, what lessons will you hope to teach your kids based on that background? Those are really great questions. I have not had those questions before. So thank you for that, Kim. Um, so to address the first one, the credit to my husband, um, he actually was the one who introduced me to, um, to incorporating shakes in my routine. When I first met him, it was in 2015, right before Rio. And we were discussing nutrition and I told him how I just felt like I was constantly chasing, you know, the workouts instead of owning the workouts. And he said, well, let me kind of look at what you're doing nutrition wise. And he decided, or he, he figured out that, um, I wasn't, I wasn't having that nutrition, nutritious recovery shake right after in that 30 minutes. I would just wait till I got back to either my apartment or the dining hall, depending on where we were training and go right to dinner. And he's like, no, trust me, you need this shake within the 30 minutes. And then um, you can still eat a full meal. And that just made a lot of difference. Um, I was having like two, three shakes a day, um, depending on what our criteria was. And it was able to help me not only recover after practice, but also prepare for the next one. So I definitely was not as beat up. Um, so, and funny enough, when he met me, um, one of the reasons why he wanted to meet me was because I was pursuing the Olympics. <laughs> so that is part one. Um, the second part is I am realizing with my children and being a mom now that my Olympic journey was so much easier. <laughs> Just kidding. There are definitely aspects that I thought um, I would go back to training for sure. This is a lot harder than I anticipated. But when I am day to day with those three kiddos, one thing that I really want to instill with them is to never give up. If they are passionate about something, if they love something so much that it does not feel like a job, that's what I want for them. And that's what I also want to instill that just because you love it, you have to still work hard. Just goofy it. watch. 1723 is. Yeah, for sure. So, and so with that, um, incorporating hard work and also teamwork. Like I said today, I was straightening up doing laundry and I tried to kind of come up with a system for, you know, one to fold one way and then the other one to stack it. And then that one to give it to me to put in the thing. I said, see guys, this is teamwork. We're all have a role. We all are working together. And the better that we realize that we all can kind of have our strengths and you all have a role and you can help me do this. We can all switch at some point, but let's keep the, the machine rolling, if you will. And, and I think that that is super important because it builds trust, it builds um, work ethic, and it ultimately, um, you know, teaches them how to be a good teammate and work because just about everything um, out there for us, if, and we as people, we are very community oriented people, we need each other. And so I think that that is a big, uh, a big key uh, household really lesson. And I guess motto, if you will, is to um, is to be incorporated in the world and be the teammate and be the good person and, and be healthy while you're doing it for sure. Yeah, that's cool. Thank you. You bet. Thanks for the question. That's so good. I'm gonna have to remember that we're doing laundry because I don't feel like it's that positive an experience in our house. <laughs> So I'm taking a lot of parenting notes from you too, Amanda. Oh my gosh. I need to take some parenting notes for you for teenage boys. I have, I know nothing about boys. <laughs> great. Oh my gosh. I'm like teamwork, doing laundry. Who would have ever thought about that? <laughs> More of threatening in our house. So thank you for that mm -hmm. idea. Um, Patty, did you have any questions? We're going to, I think. Wrap it up. Amanda, thank you so much for spending your time with us today. I hope you have a great week, but I appreciate you spending your Monday. Oh, um, you're very welcome. I actually have a question for you. Sure. Would you like to see the gold medal? Yes. Okay. Yes,
It never gets old, does it, Chris? All right. So this is the official uh, case that they gave us. It is oh. from one of the trees in Rio. And so that is really neat because um, knowing other Olympic gold medalists, they don't always give you a case with it. So I was super stoked about that. And then let's see what the good lighting is here. Wow. Here it is. What are you going to do when your kids ask to take it for show and tell? Good question. So my <laughs> kids don't exactly understand yet yeah. um, the weight behind it, if you will. Uh, there's been multiple times, I'll get a zoom in, oh, multiple geez. times that they will just grab it and put it on themselves. <laughs> I'm fine with that, but I also tell them to be very careful with it. Um, so I'm hoping to continue to help them understand. There was an ongoing joke in our household for a little while that um, maybe we just don't tell them that I'm an Olympic gold medalist and they can Google mom one day and all of a sudden they're like, wait, what? <laughs> but uh, definitely want to continue to to teach them what all was involved. And I feel like that's a little bit of the the household teamwork um, building into that as well as working hard. Uh, my middle one, she can be a little bit lazier. So I'm going to have a tough tough time breaking that wall, but uh, little by little, we'll get there. She's a long road. <laughs> I have a long road. <laughs> That's awesome. That's beautiful. Thank so you. So much hard work in that. Oh, yeah. Wow. And it's actually about a little over a pound and a half. Um, so when they put it on our necks on the, on the podium, we all kind of jolted a little <laughs> and said, Whoa. And then after when we would have multiple uh, social media or other interviews with different, um, different media. Uh, it would be anywhere from like 30 minutes to an hour that we would have these on our necks. And so when we would take, finish the interview, the first thing we did, let me get rid of the glare. There we go. The first thing we did was, um, take them off our necks. We were like, Oh, our necks that, is a, such a terrible problem to have our gold medal, is, you know, it's hurting my neck. Oh, I didn't train for this. So uh, it was super, super cool that that was our problem in Rio. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Well, I just saw on your wrist as you held it up, you have the Olympic ring. So what's the story on that? Um, I promised myself that if I ever won an Olympic gold medal, that I would get the Olympic rings as a celebration to uh, always uh, remind myself of my journey and how I got there and the victory. And, uh, it's also been a very interesting lesson for my kids already asking questions. How come yours doesn't come off mom <laughs> <laughs> that you have to be at least 30 years old and you have to win an Olympic gold medal. <laughs> the <end. laughs> They're like, Oh gosh, mom. Okay. Fine. <laughs> exactly. That's awesome. Yeah. I didn't even see that until you put your hand up. What a cool story. Thank you. Very cool. Well, thank you again. I really appreciate it. And it's been such an honor getting to talk to you and meet you. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure talking with you all. Thank you for the questions. And thank you for having me, Stephanie. I really enjoyed it. Thank you. All right. Take care. Bye, everyone. Bye.